Well, over the past few months, we have seen weakness in the oil and gas sector and pretty much these two stocks we're going to talk about today, Keppel Corp and Sam Corp Marine right over here. So this is Keppel Corp. We have seen prices pushing down by more than 15% over the past few weeks. Sam Corp Marine has pushed to multi-year lows, right? And, you know, it seems like there could still be more downside or maybe the downtrend can even continue further. Hey guys, Joey here, top tier reminds here in Philip Securities and Chief Trainer at Trading Impulse. Right? So in today's video, we're going to talk about these two stocks, right? Keppel Corp and Sam Corp Marine. What has happened to them over the past few weeks? And you know, can we still see more selling pressure, right? So let's take a look at Keppel Corp right over here. So this is Keppel Corp just about a month back right over here. We were actually seeing a bit of weakness, all right? And we'll talk about the weakness data and what's the news that came out. But look at it right over here. So just about a month back on the 27th of July, right over here, there was some downside target that were drawn all right whatever when it kind of broke that's five dollars and eighty cents level right? so there was a critical support level five dollars eighty cents that has been holding right since March April but we kind of broke that 580 support and there were some downside targets that were drawn now 10% downside plus another 7% downside right over here all right so these were the downside targets that were drawn on 27 of July right so today is the 23rd of August so about a month has passed right and you know Capital Corp seems like you know there's really some weakness and we're pretty much pushing to multi-year low right so what do we look out for and why is it pushing lower right so this is on the 11th of august right this is a business times article right so capital corp sinks by 11.7 percent right after tamasic pools all right it's offer so what happens was you know on 11th of august right uh, there was a surprise announcement by tamasic holding that they will not proceed with its four billion dollars right partial offer for capital corp and you know capital corp kind of sank by quite a fair bit more than 10 percent on that Day. So later we look at the charts for Capital Corp and Sam Corp Marie, but this was the news that came out. In fact, early of the month, right in August, there were already some uncertainty that Tamasek might pull out because what happens was, take a look at this right away here. The Tamasek subsidiary has decided, right, to invoke the MAC, right, the Material Adverse Change. So there's some conditions, right, for this partial offer, right, which whereby you know. Capital Corp would have to make a profit of at least you know a certain amount, right? But in this case, Capital Corp kind of posted a second quarter net loss, all right, of six hundred and ninety-seven point six million dollars. So it's a kind of record net loss, right? And that's the reason why the market kind of uh, pulled out the entire offer and, and Capital Corp price kind of sank on that day as well, as well, right? By more than. 10%, right? So this was the news that came out. But so at the beginning of August, the market kind of indicated they want they want to wait until the end of the month before they make a decision. And that was when we really started to see a bit of you know, weakness, all right, in Capital Corp when it broke that support level. So we look at the charts again later, right? So this was Capital Corp about a month back, as I've mentioned, all right, and it seems like we've kind of hit our target. So we're going to look at Capital Corp right now today, as of the 23rd of August, right, to see where we are now and if there can still be more downside. And after that, we'll go on to talk about Sam Corp Marine. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, right? So it will help YouTube algorithm reach out to more people. And thank you so much for doing this, right? So let's get on to Capital Corp right over here as of the 23rd of August, right? 2020, okay? So this is Capital Corp. We kind of closed on Friday at about $4.63, right? So before we dive into where we are right now, just take a look at the bigger picture, right? For Capital Corp, you can see that, you know, just end of July or early August, right over here, right? We're somewhere trading around that $5 and 80 cents five dollars and seven cents so i mentioned that you no know, there were some downside targets that were drawn right away here when we broke that five dollar and seventy cents right so why did it break down right so what happens was just around end of july or early august there were already some indication that the Masik might pull out of this partial four billion dollars offer right of, of capital corp all right and that's the reason why because you know, they kind of made a net loss for the second quarter of 697 million dollars right in that sense they could kind of breach certain conditions for this offer and the market kind of like indicated that they might want to wait until the end of the month all right before they confirm if they would pull out the offer or not and that's where capital corp sold off as a result so from the charts it have kind of shown already when it broke that five dollars and seventy cents um support level right over here you can see that five dollars and seventy let me just zoom out for you, you can see that five dollars and seventy cents five eighty um this level was key for capital it is all the while been holding 
right since like 2019 it rebounded from here rebounded it was a resistance and right now it became the support which it kind of broke down right so when it broke the support there were some downside targets that were drawn to about 525 dollars and to about four dollars and 80 cents right away so it seems like we have kind of hit our target to the downside you know, when it kind of broke that support and you know over the past three weeks we have pushed lower indeed all right so this is for capital corp i would say that the trend all right in terms of the mid to long term right um it still looks down right look at this we have drawn what we call a downward sloping channel resistance line red line by the way sloping downward so prices has kind of like been holding below this line so it kind of shows that the mid to long term trend is still down and in terms of the moving averages you can take a look at you know this red line all right the 100 days moving average is pretty much still pointing down and the blue line you can see is also sloping downwards and, and this red line is pretty much still below the blue line right in terms of the 100 days moving average below the 200 days moving average which can imply right that the trend might still be down in the mid to long term Okay, so right now we are seeing a bit of support. So a lot of people ask me, you know, Capital Corp, you know, Joey, is it time to buy? I mean, now that the prices have gone down so much, right? Because the Tomasek have kind of like pulled out the offer for Capital Corp. So, I mean, it's pretty much quite cheap now. Let's take a look at where we are, I mean, compared to the past, you know, five to 10 years, right? So we are pretty much back to this level, right? At about 2016, right over here. And there was a, some support at about 450 to 460. Let me just zoom in right over here. So 2016, is kind of hit a low about four dollars and sixty cents so we are pretty much back to this support all right of two zero one six all right four sixty four fifty i would say that would be the support for now for capital corp but even before two zero one six right over here let's take a look at the global financial crisis we have seen capital corp headed to a low of about three dollars right three dollars to three dollars and fifty cents right over here all right this was in global financial crisis 2008 2009 right over here okay so we're pretty much back to that 2016 level for capital corp and you know can there still be more weakness ahead well let's take a look right so i would say that right now because the trend all right for capital corp as i mentioned is still pretty much down for now all right we want to be careful because if this support at about you know 450 or maybe 460 were to break down all right we, we okay let me just reiterate the target so we had, we had some targets that were drawn then right this is about a month back there's some downside targets that were drawn um, to about 480 or right, 460 so we kind of hit our targets um, right over here but there was like another 15 17 percent downside but if we break this 450 to 460 support we might potentially see more weakness coming back and you want to be careful because as i mentioned the trend is still down there's a potential that we can still break this 450 to 460 support and we might potentially hit towards the psychological four dollars level right this will be capital cop i would say um weakness right if we do see a bit more bearish actions coming back you know if it breaks the support just like if we broke that 570 support when the news came out you know there's some uncertainty about this partial takeover deal when it broke that support it started to come down same thing when we break this 450 to 460 support we might see a bit more weakness coming back for capital call right but right now i mean given that it's sold off by more than 15 16 percent right since about three weeks back we might see a bit of bargain hunting a bit of short covering potentially coming back near 450 it might maybe rebound a bit but that's where sellers might come back again and you just want to be careful if this 450 to 460 support were to break down and that's where more downside can happen so let's take a look at sam Corp marine right over here and you know this is sam Corp marine we kind of close at about zero point 205 right on friday right so um is it time to buy sam Corp marine i would say that for sam Corp marine i would say it kind of looks quite similar to capital corp i mean pretty much in a downtrend as well it has been in downtrend since like you know last year right we look at this blue line it's been sloping downwards we have kind of like drawn downside targets for this company you know a few months back as well and this red line look at this this red line the 100 days moving average has been below i mean kind of cross below the blue line somewhere in 2018 and it has been pretty much below the blue line all this while right so i would say the downtrend has started you know one or two years back for for like sam Corp marine all right and right now you know we are pretty much still in the downtrend we are back to this psychological support at about 20 cents right so in terms of sam Corp marine what happens was just about more than a week back they kind of did a rights issue there was an x date for rights issue on 13th of august right and sam Corp marine wanted to raise funds right about 2.1 billion dollars to kind of like shore up their balance sheet and their cash flow you know to, to make sure that they get through this entire pandemic right and for sam Corp marine what happens was they did a rights issue a five for one rights issue exercise price at about 20 cents and and you know prices have kind of like pushed lower because they're kind of like raising funds 
fast as well all right so if you are if you are holding the rights you know, either you sell with the rights or you subscribe to the mother share right convert your rights to the share right but i'll not go into all the details about the rights issue but right now in terms of samcorp marine share price um let's take a look right i would say that it's pretty much doing a downtrend I, I would perhaps i can just draw this downward sloping um channel resistance line right over here yeah pretty much in downtrend this was since like 2018 and we can probably draw another line right away here channel resistance line for sam Corp marine so pretty much in a downtrend i mean just for the moving averages and right now we are back to this support at about 20 cents so it's pretty much at a multi-year low for sam Corp marine and you just want to be careful i would say because prices have come adjusted to after x right all right prices have come adjusted and we are now currently trading about 205 but i would say that it might consolidate above 20 cents but right now you can see that this 20 days moving average this green line all right is still pointing down and prices is kind of like still below this downward sloping 20 days moving average so if we were to break below all right this 20 cents right you just want to be careful as well because the trend is still down and if any critical support level in this case it would be the 20 cents you know, thankfully we are seeing a bit of buying pressure coming back probably some short covering you know buyers coming back around here but if that 20 cents were to break down right we can potentially see more weakness all right I, I, i'm not too sure probably to like what 15 cents 18 cents that could be the downside we have no idea how low it can go all right because this company is in a downtrend for now all right we want to see a bit more stability or maybe some signs of an upside reversal signals right before we want to start to buy so normally we would not want to buy counters that are in the downtrend because you know, as you've seen in a downtrending counter can, can push lower and lower and, and it would not be a good thing to hold on to long positions right for counters which are in the downtrend state you want to think about how you can take like short positions using CFD contract for difference right to come profit from the weakness right so this is Sam Corp Marine I will come talk about Capital Corp and Sam Corp Marine in this video as of the 23rd of August 2020 so if you like this video be sure to click on the subscribe button right and of course click on the bell hit the notification so that you will be alerted when any new videos comes out on YouTube right so thank you so much for watching Joey here take care